Hey, what's up? This is a short little update here. Um, just about pests in general, really, and just little bugs, also just beneficial bugs for cannabis growing. So I, I've had a, a little bit of experience growing, you know, fruits and vegetables outdoors in a garden, a summer garden. And uh, I've done a couple cannabis grows indoors, but I was using bottled newts before and, uh, you know, partially organic and partially synthetic newts. And uh, finally, uh, I made the transition now to the living organic soil approach, and I, it's infinitely better. Uh, I'm not going to show you the plants now. I'll do a video in a couple days when they hit the 10-week mark from seed. And uh, I've got some pretty massive colas stacking up. And the light's only at 70%. Uh, so, But I did just do a watering today. I do my watering as soon as the light comes back on. And uh, in this batch, I did um, some of the SNS 209, which is a pest preventative and um, it's it's based on it's got a little bit of soap in it has an emulsifier and it's got romeric acid which comes from the rosemary plant and um, I've just been using that as a preventative and I've never had a pest issue before I don't even want to say the names of the, the ugly pests but they're a nightmare for cannabis growers but so I just watered and uh, with the romeric acid and I just noticed an insane amount of springtails and beneficial soil mites if I can get you to see them, but sorry for my shaky hand, but look at those little guys. Those are springtails. And you see the little bouncers? I guess those are like the younger springtails, the little jumpy things. It's so fun to watch. They're like little Mexican jumping beans. But yeah, these are uh, these are what we call springtails. They're beneficial. They break down organic matter. And I'm not sure if they're, they came to the surface in such numbers because they don't like the romeric acid or just because they wanted to. I don't know. But I did notice they were actually starting to crawl up one of my branches here. Nah, they're just too tiny to see. But for those of you out there who are new to cannabis growing and, um, you know, or if you're new to the organic living soil approach, some people freak out about bugs in their soil and um, panic and this and that. And... Uh, Really, if you're doing it properly, you want to have a lot of life in the soil. You want to have a lot of bugs. Like that mass right there, that's all springtails. And I've got an amazing, an amazing biology going on in my soil right now, so this is really fun. Everything's just working out really well in this grow. I'm just having a good time. So yeah, this is just to put people's mind at ease a little bit. If you see this, you know, if you've got little bugs in your soil and they're not coming up on your plants, don't worry about it. You want those little guys. They are going to break down the organic metal in the soil and make the food just readily available to the roots and the plants just suck it straight up so those little beneficial bugs are great and I do have those little mites they came back again those little white clear mites and um, their numbers aren't too bad and it's been what it's been like a week and a half or two weeks or something since I, I did the earth dust uh, bloom my final application of fertilizer so I was anticipating them to come back a little bit uh, they're not quite as populous as they were before but and those little white bulb, I think they're either bulb mites or they might even be like mold mites or something like that. But I looked at them under a little 30 power uh, jeweler's loop and, and they look like, almost like hypoaspis miles, but I think they're just a predatory mite. Because uh, you do get some fungus gnats that come up, you can maybe see them flying around a little bit. You do get some fungus gnats when you apply the earth dust, in my experience. Yeah, there's those little white guys, those little white mites, but but they're cool. So I'm thinking maybe they're just they're just coming out to try and find all the fungus gnats and eat them, which is cool with me. So, but yeah, no, you want little buggies in your soil. So if you start growing and you see little bugs in your soil, take it easy, man. That's what you want. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.